So the much anticipated Walking Dead spin-off, The Walking Dead Dead City, has arrived. Episode 1 of 6, I believe. The Maggie and Negan-centered storyline. And I have a lot to talk about pros and cons because... I have a I have a strong opinion about how and the distance of where they've started it. I am, but I think as a whole, it is a good start. That's why I want to clarify. Spoils ahead. Do hit the subscribe button if you are new. Obviously, the, we're getting slightly back into the channel. Bit of a break, and of course, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let's go. So, the best way I can describe this episode being, um, it was an episode. That was very strong, in my opinion, for Negan and Maggie's relationship. Um, I'm completely against this idea that Maggie is still holding on to Negan as responsible for Glenn's death. Obviously, we know it's a huge thing, but in the grand scheme of things, it must be, I want to say, 10, 10 plus years now. Um, maybe more, because Herschel, who's obviously been recasted, he looks like he's about 10, 11, 12. So it's been between 10 and 12 years since Glenn's death. And, you know, there was this whole storyline in The Walking Dead of season 11 of them, you know, Negan saved Herschel. They worked together. It felt like they were in a better place. And it almost seems like they've hit the... They, 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 they put a stop on it and they've restarted that storyline up to make a reason for these two to have a bit of beef and possibly resolve things by the end of the show. Uh, I think, you know, the Crow being the villain, a Croatian ex savior who did the whole whistle thing when taking out Maggie's group. And again, I want to, I want to, I wanted clarity on where, what is this group that Maggie's on about who was taken, they, they were taken down, they were raided. Why isn't Maggie at Hilltop? <clears throat> Why is it Maggie at these places that we know are secure, have the main characters, have hundreds of, maybe thousands of, well, yeah, they have thousands of people that we know from the Commonwealth and Hilltop, and I don't understand that she was in this random place and only she was raided, Herschel was taken a month later, and it's a random saviour that Negan once worked with. Um... <clears throat> And this whole thing with the marshal in this episode, a random bar in this area not far from New York has got random people with no walkers or groaners, as they would call them. They're just doing normal stuff that they were doing pre-apocalypse and just dealing with getting booze like it's nothing. The marshal's walking around arresting people and sentencing people to death like it's still the old world. The lack of connectivity <clears throat> from this episode to the end of the season 11 and how it ended and the perfect perfectionist of it i think it's so disjointed like i think negan said something about a, it's been a year or something so it might be a year since the end of the finale um they sort of brushed over annie and the baby's fate which i'm pretty sure will get clarified in this episode i loved how negan pointed out that he isn't the only person to take a father out of this world maggie's probably killed multiple fathers and mothers to other kids and never really thought about it and i just found it to be jeffrey d morgan and, Matt and lauren cohen were brilliant in this episode jeffrey d morgan's gonna be the reason why the show is successful in my opinion he's so charismatic he knows how to drive a scene i think you know when the walkers are falling from the sky it was really cool the visuals and shots of the streets and of the manhattan skyline of the shots of the empire of the bridges um, the zombies, I think the quality seems to have definitely increased a lot. I think the story is definitely there. I would have loved to them, for them to have arrived in Manhattan at the end of this episode with build-up and connections to the end of Walking Dead Season 11, but we didn't get that, but they still didn't struggle to drive the episode forward. The Marshal is now by himself. You know, the other two were killed. One was killed by the Marshal for no reason. The other guy was overrun by zombies. Negan and Maggie have come across a weird old lady who was watching them from the streets. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think I think this episode offered a lot. I think it's a really gritty and cool Resident Evil vibe, Last of Us vibes, that sort of thing. Um, I'm just really looking forward to seeing this duo. This duo that needs to put their rivalry to rest at some point, otherwise it's going to get repetitive. Oh, you killed Glenn. Who gives a shit? He saved Herschel. From death. 
he saved so many people from death. I I, I don't get it. And if they don't draw a line under at the end of the season, they they're gonna have issues. But yeah, I think as first episodes go, as spin-offs go, I agree with what the reviewers have said or the critics have said. It's the strongest spin-off start they've ever had. Better than Fear, better than Beyond The Walking Dead. Um, and I'm, this really gives me hopes for Daryl's show. It gives me hopes for Rick's show because the writing is there, the, the, the development, the dedication, and just need a bit more clarity on the connection between this and the, the main series. Will they ever return to Hilltop and stuff? <clears throat> We don't know. We know the girl who was with Negan is at Hilltop, but again, it depends whether she'll ever appear again. So, yeah, and the future, you know, the trailer they showed at the end was really cool. It looks tension, looks like a lot of tension. I think the Croat is definitely a cool villain. I'm looking forward to seeing Negan versus the Croat and why the Croat left the Saviors. I would definitely love that to be clarified. But yeah. Definitely a good introduction. Very happy with Dead City Episode 1. Hope you are enjoying the episode. It obviously came out early on AMC+. Plus. comes out on Sunday for everybody. I'll be sure to do this regularly on the week. It drops, so do stay tuned for that, of course. Thanks for watching, as always, and goodbye.